Welcome to a new Precious Plastic video. In this video, we're going to make something from old plastic bags. And we're not going to use our machines for this one, but this is a technique almost everyone can do. The only thing we need is an iron and a sewing machine to get it done. And the trick we're doing is pretty common, but we're going to show you guys a few tips and tricks on how to make it better and more professional. And we have our boy Bjorn from Iceland to help us out. Hey! Hey! <laughs> So we're going to show you guys how to make a bag, but obviously the technique can be used to produce a lot of things. And the first thing we have to do is to prepare the seeds. To cut plastic bags into a size that fits uh, under a regular sheet of baking paper. So now we have a bunch of cut plastic bags. Uh, it's important to pre-iron every sheet we have. Uh, because it helps control the shrinking of the bags and, and smoothen the surface out. Uh, I use a temperature around 200 degrees for my iron. Uh, it's cotton setting and it works for whatever kind of bag. I press it slowly, uh, quite hard actually, and just keep the iron moving until the whole surface is relatively flat. And then after this, I Press it down for 2-3 seconds with a flat surface and repeat the process until I have a stack of materials ready to use. Uh, yeah, now we have the flat sheets and I don't shrink so much anymore uh, and we're going to start fusing more together to get a bigger surface. Okay, so now we have a stack of pre-ironed plastic uh, and we need to start fusing it together to create a bigger surface. Uh, we'll be using the same technique as before, just applying the iron with baking paper on both sides. Uh, and I start by creating a base of just a single layer of plastic bags fused together uh, and I stack them on top one by one until I have a layer of three sheets thick uh, and then the material should be nice and sturdy and, uh, and strong enough to create a, a durable bag. When I have two pieces of big enough plastic fused together, I place it on top of a rough textile, uh, baking paper on top and I iron it again. This really helps smoothen out the, the surface of the plastic, making it absolutely straight. And it also leaves a strong imprint of the, the textile on the plastic. Uh, this again, like everything else, helps make it strong and easier to, to manage. Uh, so next step is super easy. We're gonna cut the sheet into the correct size. With the sheets ready, uh, with a nice texture and they're, they're flat and the three layers thick and strong, uh, it's time to cut them after the pattern. So next up is to sew it all together and we use a super old basic sewing machine. I'm no sewing specialist so there are probably plenty of, of ways to do it different or better uh, but I'm doing it in a, an idiot proof way so anybody should be able to do it. Uh, for a smooth finish, pin down three of the edges one centimeter uh, and sew it uh, until it looks like this here. The bottom has been sewn together and six centimeters uh, on both sides across the vertical line uh, then you can break the back like this to create a three-dimensional platform of the back. Uh, use the six centimeters as the end stop of a, a triangle and sew right across from here. Uh, when the triangle has been sewn on both sides, you can flip the back or turn it inside out to get the smoother surface on the outside. Uh, and then there's just one final step left to get the back up and running. And that is to fasten the two sides together. So everything's pinned down. Uh, and we give it like a one centimeter break from the edge and just Stitch it carefully.
Okay, so the core of the bag is ready, strong and durable, and next thing is to finish it up. So there are multiple ways of finishing up your bag. Uh, lots of different sewing styles that can be applied, or, or different colors, textures, uh, and yeah, so here for example is bubble wrap, and, and it feels totally different from, from the plastic, almost like some alligator leather or something. So with these various techniques, uh, you can for example make a, a handbag, various sizes of tote bags, uh, or even something like a backpack. Alright, so we made a few bags as an example, and you can make it plain blue, or you can really mix all the plastic bags together. It doesn't matter that much, the core principle is that you can fuse plastic bags together to make these big sheets, which you can use to make something else. Could be a bag, could be something completely different. Anyway, that was it for this video, thanks for watching. And if you have a question, feel free to post the topic in our forums. And make sure to send us a picture of the bag you made. Wale. Wale. <laughs>